learning things in classes, when I take my class, I insist that you don't wear scrubs or jeans. You must wear something very loose and stretchy and um, <laughs> able to flex a lot. So for anybody with plantar fasciitis, I start thinking about the waist. What's attached up here? So I work all the way down. So I'm gonna start, in this case, the glutes. I'm gonna move my hand off because I'm gonna work on the glutes. I'm gonna work on the SI joint. I'm gonna work on the sacral uh, edge. I'm gonna work all the way around to the tensor fascia lata and down the IT band, the hamstrings, the ischial tuberosity. I'm gonna do a stretch. And then I'm gonna do, when I'm doing counter pressure, I'm gonna take this leg into a coronal stretch. So that's what I'm gonna start with because I wanna completely loosen up. So. Again, it's this very prolonged, sustained compression because you want the heat to melt all the way down. And I'm working with the heel of my hand right along that whole scoop of the pelvis. What's that called? I really can't tell you if you're right or not, so you can just guess anything. But you know how the <laughs> pelvis scoops in? What's that called? Where it moves in, when a bone moves in. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here's the sacrum, right here, right here. And then the pelvis kind of goes like this, and this is full of glutes. Okay, does that help? So I'm right against that whole... Kind of the fossa you're talking about? Thank you. Yeah. So you see what I'm doing, I'm just using my body, using the heels of my hand, but I'm feeling the tissue soften under the compression. Moving over to the tensor fascia lata, just doing a lift. Now if I were working right directly without warming this area, it would not feel good. How's that feel? <laughs> Really? Well, that was interesting when you were vibrating by laughing. It's <laughs> 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 a new technique. You know, laughing yoga, laughing massage. <laughs> you must laugh when I compress. Now we a 16 hour segment. <laughs> Now in this, I can actually put my entire elbow and my upper body weight, do a nice spread. She's not warmed up up here, but actually do this wonderful flash of spread. How's that feel? Huh? <laughs> Good? Okay. So if you wouldn't have warmed that up, could she have tolerated that? No. no. Not, not. I couldn't. I couldn't. So. Now I'm pressing down towards the table, and this is where I take her leg, cross her up opposite knee, and see how I'm taking this into a peroneal stretch. Mm -hmm. Because if this if this peroneal muscle is real tight, by the time it gets down here, it's going to affect the the plantar fasciitis, the plantar area, and also here. So I'm going to take this and really stretch it. I'm going to make sure that capsule is nice and wide open. So I pull it up. And I'm letting her femur I'm taking this deep breath. So when she resists like that, I back off. Did that hurt? Yeah. Sometimes there's just a guarding and you have to get through it until the release occurs. for patients with MS that have a lot of guarding? Start much more gentle. And you're going to have to see how they respond to the heat because some MS do not respond to heat well. They prefer the, prefer the cold, so you might want to try a cold pillow. So now I'm <clears throat> great. But this time I have located her greater trochanter. So I'm going to scrub the greater trochanter. I'm going to scrub all the cellular debris that lingers around there because of all the ligaments, all the attachments, all the things that are attached to that greater trochanter, which bind it down, especially as we get old, especially if we're working in sedentary jobs in front of a computer and we're on a duck all day. 
So I'm going to compress. She should be feeling this. Looking right over. I'm just applying pressure downwards. And I'm feeling it roll right underneath my heel with my hand. Right near the hamstrings. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And the closer to the knee you go, you don't want to apply pressure to the popliteal space, but then you want to work the IT band. So it's separating the edge of the tight IT band from the hamstrings. Fastest line of us. IT band goes how far down? Come on, you guys. <laughs> I know, it's like, okay, I'm going to give you a clue. It goes past the knee. Okay, it goes right up to here. All right? So you want to get some warmth there, too. Now I'm going to work on the initial tuberosity. I'm going to hook my elbow right in there. And I'm internally rotating the heel as I'm hooking with my elbow the opposite direction. And I don't come down here and stretch like this. When I do that, I'm stretching what part of her leg, anterior or posterior? Right. But if I'm stretching like this, I'm pulling on the heel. Okay. So that's how I would start. So now hop up. <laughs> that was comfortable. Okay, now I need a chair chair. Can I borrow somebody's chair chair? Please. Okay. It's easier to do it on a chair. You can do it on the floor, but go ahead and sit in the chair. And bring your affected foot up and put it on the opposite knee. There you go. Now scoot up towards the front of the chair so you're not leaning back against. Make sure that you're stable. Okay, take your hand, this hand. This, this, this hand? This hand. Okay. And take your thumb and push this way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now bring it back to neutral. Take a deep breath. Do that again and press down on your knee at the same time. Is it okay? You feel it in your hip? Okay. So when you do this, and then you can hold this down like this, so you should feel a fascial burn here, here, and you can try it this way too. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the more you do that, plus your lunges that you've probably seen right. descriptions of, the faster you're going to be. The better.